Hey everyone, it's Jared here, and today I'm going to talk to you about playing double stroke rolls on your toms. Now, on the snare drum, it's relatively easy because the snare is tuned tighter, so it's easy to get a really nice sounding double stroke roll. But generally, when drummers move that to something like the floor tom, it really dies and fizzles out because the floor tom is tuned lower and doesn't have as much rebound. So I want to talk to you today about how I practice double strokes around the drums. So I do it three different ways. The first way is simply dropping the stick and letting it rebound for another stroke, like this. The second way is actually almost all from the wrist, but using full strokes. So I hit the stick down, I follow the stick back up with my hand, okay, I don't pick it back up with my hand, and then I hit it again, like this. And then the third way I practice double strokes is where I drop the stick, let the stick rebound back so it's high, and then pull it back in with my fingers. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Now you can practice all three different ways, and I think all three have their uses on the drum set. When I get to the floor tom, I use a lot more wrists and that finger technique that I was just showing you, because it allows me to get a strong second stroke even when there isn't a lot of rebound. So once you've kind of practiced those techniques and you kind of got a good base, now what you can do is start actually working around the drums with this one unique exercise that I absolutely love to do. So the exercise starts with playing 16th notes, one bar of 16th notes like this. After that, it goes to one bar of 16th note triplets, and then one final bar of 32nd notes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put it all together and play it as a three bar exercise. I'm going to do it all on the snare at first. I'm not going to include my feet at all. So just on the snare drum, we'll play it for three bars. I'm going to do it at 60 beats per minute. Here we go. The next step is to move it around the drums and start to orchestrate it in a very creative way. Something that doesn't sound like machine gun snare hits, but something that sounds a little bit more musical. So similar to what I was doing at the intro of this video where I was really experimenting with some of the melodic phrasing on the toms and trying to develop something that doesn't just sound like random notes, but actually sounds like a part or sounds like music. All right, so I'm just going to play eighth notes with my feet. So one and two and three and four and. And we'll also do this nice and slow at 60 beats per minute. Now follow along with me and just tap on your legs and try and keep up with the 16th notes to the 16th note triplets to the 32nd notes. Here we go. Once you're feeling comfortable with the pattern and the note value changes, you can actually just start to speed it up. So let's move it up to 100 beats per minute, and I can show you exactly how that sounds.
So it's a lot of fun, and it's one of those things where it doesn't become practicing anymore, and you actually just love sitting down because you can be creative and you can be more melodic than just playing a simple groove. And um, I just absolutely love this kind of stuff. So I hope you guys love it too, and I hope you really, really can take it to your kit and have some fun with it. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember, click that link in the description. I really appreciate it if you check it out, and I'll see you again very soon.